Oh, he got hands. Ooh, it's okay, cause I got you. Hey, wait, 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 wait. no, 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 Ting, Ting, no. And all of a sudden, this just got personal. Who goes there? Show yourself. Yo, she a woman? Oh, it's you. Don't sneak up behind me next time. Lucky for you, I wasn't armed. Wait a minute, why are you standing guard with no gun? I mean, you just asking for it now, Bronya. <laughs> No sleep for you either, huh? I can't sleep unless I've worked for eight hours. God, am I gonna give her the drone response? You need someone to look after you. <laughs> <laughs> this Stellaron you speak of, if you were to find it, how sure are you that you could stop the eternal freeze? I'm confident. Your confidence actually makes me even more worried. What? This isn't like helping a child make a snowball. But you want me to be depressed? You know, it was difficult for me to believe you. Some of the words you use are too alien for those that have lived their entire life in Bellabog. As far as I was concerned, Madame Kakolia's order to arrest you sounded reasonable. What? But why didn't she issue it straight away? She must have realized something about you. Something I haven't yet been able to perceive for myself. It bothers me. You irk me. What must have transpired to cause her such a drastic change? Ah, <sighs> still... Orders are orders. It's not for soldiers to question their superiors. Only a fool follows orders blindly. Yeah, you shouldn't just murder immigrants like this. In the past, overworld soldiers on the front line would lose their lives in droves. And yet, the Fragmentum's advance would remain unaffected. Nevertheless, that was her reason for deploying all the Silvermane guards to the front line. The transport line for supplies in Geomero remained open. But the passage between the surface and the underground ceased. Huh. I approved of that decision. I never thought that the underworld would sink into such ruin without the Silverman guards. Perhaps Mother was wrong. Wow. Without law, society collapses. Who would have thought? But how can I change her mind? I've tried, but she won't listen. I don't know how to get through to her. Yeah, you should be president, Brodia. You mean... What was I thinking? No, I shouldn't. That was a diabolical thought. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the more I think about it, the more disoriented I get, which in turn makes me think about it even more. I just want a better life for the people of Bellabog. You can't do it alone. Maybe you're right. Or not. <laughs> right now, I, I just need more time to think. Careful. Walk with me. Let's forget our problems for a while. Can we hold hands? No? Oh, okay. I know. I'll go to Rivet Town and bring them back for you. It's too dangerous to go alone. Get Oleg to send someone with you. The rest of Wildfire has barely gotten any sleep the last few days. They should rest. They'd only be holding their eyelids open and slowing me down. Besides, didn't you say some of the miners were gravely injured? Lives are on the line. Oh, don't mind me. Aren't you supposed to be sleeping? What are you doing out here? Up to no good, perhaps? Come on, Seely. Why's everybody gonna be so mad today? We're just having a walk neither of us could sleep. You can rescind your baseless accusations. <laughs> walk somewhere else, then. Damn. Easy, Zila. Maybe they can help. You need to calm your ass down if you want my help. Hey, come on now. Zila's got a sharp tongue, but a soft heart. She didn't mean anything. You sure? She's had a permanent scowl the moment she's seen me. Here's the situation. The clinic is packed full of people injured in the mines incident. Since you helped us resolve things, Zila and I have been busy caring for them. As you know, the underground is lacking resources to begin with. Add on the sudden nature of the incident, and it's no surprise that the clinic is almost out of medical supplies. We need to acquire more. Somehow. Hmm. Eh, just get Sampo's ass to do it. You don't know him at all yet, do you? You can't rely on people like Sampo when it's important. Damn. Zila and I actually aren't from here. We both come from an industrial town to the north. A few years ago, the Fragmentum began to seep into the town center. I used to manage an orphanage and clinic there. But after the Fragmentum corroded the area, I had no choice but to move here to Boulder Town. 
After all, I have to survive myself if I want to save more people. True, true. Go to a corroded town to collect some useful resources? I'm in. How'd you get your brain to work like that? You want to come as well? But you look quite tired. What else am I gonna do? Hold up. I never said you could join us. Oh, come on. People's lives are at stake. Why wouldn't you want another person to help? Besides, I have some experience with the Fragmentums. I'm sure I will be of use. <sighs> well, just don't slow me down. You love her, shut up. Way over there. See that house on the hill? That's Natasha's old orphanage. After Oleg found me, he sent me there. I spent over half my childhood in that place. God dang, how old is Tasha? Natasha said that the house was donated by some rich businessman. Whatever his business may have been, he must have been a good person. So, uh, can I get an introduction? I miss those carefree days as a kid. Me too, Celie. Huh. Me too. What? Nothing to say? No, it's just... This place seems familiar somehow. Uh-oh. Herrick? What the? Hey, brat! How could you come here by yourself? Oh, don't you know how dangerous this place is? Zila! Uh, you aren't the boss of me. Really? I can go wherever I want. It's none of your beeswax. How are you alive? You took the materials and hid them all here. Not bad, kid. But if we didn't take care of those monsters, what were you planning to do? Just stay here, shaking in your boots? Who asked you to do anything? I was just about to escape. I didn't need your help at all. I'm slowly starting to hate these children. Still stubborn, huh? Then tell me, how exactly were you going to get those big metal plates out of here past those monsters? There's always a way. Oh, Lord. Well, perhaps you'd like to make a donation. Don't be so polite to him. What? Everyone in the underworld knows this brat is a no-good thief. If I remember correctly, even the clothes you're wearing came off another kid's back. Oh. Uh, about that. Tell us, what do you even want metal plates and gauze bandages for? We need them to save people. 200. 200? What? Uh, 200 shield? <laughs> Are you kidding me? You want to negotiate? I don't even have enough shield for that. I spent them all on consolations for me. Me neither. I never bring my coin purse with me on a mission. <laughs> You're actually planning to give this little crook money? I I'm telling you, this is his same old trick. No, not this time. I really need money. My daddy. Papa. Pretending to use your dad again as an excuse. If he knew about this, you'd be in big trouble. No. <laughs> Come on, Celie, give him some grace. Zila, that's enough. It's Eric, right? Here, you can have this. What? What's this? This is a medal given to me by the architects. See that blue stone in the middle? That's a geomero crystal of the highest purity. Mm -hmm. You need money for your family, right? Take this and show it to a knowledgeable buyer, and they'll instantly know how valuable it is. Wow. Damn, Bronya. That object was pretty important to you, right? Are you sure you're okay just giving it to Eric like that? If it will make him change his ways, it's more than worth it. <laughs> what if he doesn't? From a young age, my mother taught me to be forgiving and to preserve the goodwill in people's hearts. Even if I am but a small glimmer of light in this world, I must try my best to shine brightly for others. I must give him a chance, Zila, because other people can't. <laughs> you ain't got nothing to say. I don't really get what you just said. Anyway, <clears throat> we should get moving. Ah, yes. Homosexuality at its finest. <sighs> we made it. Hmm. 
It's been so long. Hey, where are you going? Come Let's on. The first. I can't go nowhere here, man. These crates have been sitting here for many years, right? Even if they have materials in them, are you sure they are still usable? <laughs> Do you think undergrounders care about expiration dates? <laughs> Even having any supplies is a miracle in itself. Yeah, we broke. No. No. Empty. How are they all empty? Who could have... Careful. Enemy behind you. How the hell we missed that? It's a big man. I need to be brave. Eliminating threat. <sighs> that was it? It wouldn't have been so easy on your own. I don't know about that one, man. It seems like Sully is the answer in this game. Oh, please. You don't think I could do it? But still, fighting alongside you two was pretty fun. Can I actually own a copy now, please? Huh? What's this? This is... This is... Something from when I was a child. Oh? When you were a child? Are you sure? Yeah, she was definitely kidnapped as a kid or something. Yes. I remember now. I, I used to live here. Before the architects took me away. Be, before Madame Cocolia adopted me. I used to live here. I'm an undergrounder. Oh. You're an undergrounder? Wait a minute. You're saying that Cocolia... The Supreme Guardian adopted you? Then... Yes. I'm the successor chosen by the architects. In the future, I will become the guardian who leads Bellabog. Is that a death flag for Coco? I mean, it sounds kind of evil, but I kind of hope it is. Why? Why didn't I remember this until now? My childhood memories are so... Blurry. Coco must have done something to you. Yeah, isn't she being controlled by the cancer with three mouths? No. The mother would never do that to me. There's no way she would. Um, Ronya, how do I tell you this? The kids at the orphanage are always coming and going. I never thought that there would have been a future supreme guardian among us. Does not know about this? Could she have been keeping it a secret? I don't think she knows. The selection of the successor is done with utmost secrecy. And the child chosen must completely say goodbye to their past. So wait, what the, You just said it! What the hell you try to say she wouldn't erase your memories? The fuck, Bronya? Unless... I became the daughter of Madame Cocolia. My only identity is that of Guardian successor. But I'm not good enough. You're better. Every day, I see Silvermane guards sacrifice their lives in the Fragmentum. But I've never had the resolve to try to change Mother's mind. The Underworld has been struggling, but I never tried to help. I didn't even know that it was my own home that had fallen into such a dire state. In the end, I haven't been able to guard anything. Mm. How could they have thought that I was worthy to be the successor? Hey, are you done? Huh? Well, well, well. So annoying. Damn, silly. I... Uh, what? <laughs> what? You thought I should feel sorry for you after your little speech? You can hide in your palace while you fuss over your overworld problems. And on the front line, it's not even you who's putting their life in danger. But in the underworld, what do we worry about? If we'll have food for our next meal, or survive to the next week? <sighs> Even if I am but a small glimmer of light in this world, I must try my best to shine brightly for others. Didn't you say that? Well, if you really want to protect everyone, what are you standing here crying for? Get to it! You're right. You're right. You're right. Self-pity doesn't help solve anything. Thank you, Zila. 
Usually when I feel sorry for myself, I am met with gentle consolation. Never has anyone dared to be tough and make me snap out of it. <laughs> I'm no good at consoling, but I can hit you on the head a few times, no problem. I can tell that you have a big burden to carry. Why do you force yourself to? As the successor to the Guardian of Balabog, I must always be vigilant of my behavior and thoughts. Yeah, yeah, Lady Branya. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Future Supreme Guardian comes from the same orphanage as me. Who thought it would be a good idea to put us together, huh? Literally everybody, and you need to stay together. I should let those two be alone for a bit. Yeah, yeah, I get it. We don't want to be a third wheel. Keep supporting Yuri, Hoyo. Warning. Warning. Danger detected. What you mean, danger? That's racist. Ain't no beef here. Protect Clara. Initiating active defense mode. Come on, bruh. Perkins, don't. Stop. I've seen this person before. She... She's not bad, right? That's right. Command received. Danger removed. Deactivating active defense mode. Yeah, calm your ass down. This place is dangerous. You should leave. It's a bit late to be saying that, Clara. Yo, I need some drugs. Oh, I came here for these painkillers too. Well then. There are a lot of people hurt at the Vagrant Camp. I guess the miners are no different? <sighs> if everyone could just get along, things would be easier. Mm. Here you are. I hope the medicine is of help to you. Really? Did you even be giving this to me? So what's your relationship with Big Daddy? It's Mr. Sparog. He... He's my family. I met Mr. Sparog when I was real little. He took me in and took care of me. Hmm. I'm really sorry about what happened back in the Great Mine. Mr. Sparog doesn't trust any humans besides me. Especially everyone from Wildfire. So why'd he do it? He heard that the miners and vagrants had begun to engage in a large-scale conflict. He wanted to stop everyone from getting hurt fighting over the mines. Wildfire wants everyone to leave the underground. But Mr. Sparov wants everyone to stay here. According to his calculations, the overground is already unsafe. Oh, so he's gatekeeping the elevator. Yes. Mr. Sparag is very stubborn. He says that his responsibility is preservation. To do that, he must make decisions that best protect humanity. The Fragmentum will swallow up all of the underground sooner or later. Yeah, we're just biding time. I know that Wildfire wants to talk to Mr. Sparag, but no matter how many times you talk to him, Mr. Sparag won't change his mind. So please trust me. I'll try to persuade Mr. Sparag. Hopefully one day he'll finally listen. I don't know, you haven't succeeded already. Miss Sila, did this medicine belong to Miss Natasha? Then, can you give me some? The Vagrant's injuries are quite serious. I see. Let's split these painkillers then. R really? We don't need to ask Miss Natasha first? If I know not, she won't mind. Although, this will make it more difficult for us. She'll understand. She always does. Great. Thank you, Miss Sila. Are you leaving? This old town is too dangerous. We'll accompany you part of the way. Is that safe? It, it's fine. I have Perkins for company. And I have some more things I need to look for here first. <sighs> Understood. Be careful, though. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like the robots will try to shoot us on sight if we went with her. Clara? Huh. If she was there too, then I understand. She wants to look after the injured vagrants, right? Clara's always been a kind-hearted girl. <laughs> I think you made the right decision. Still, it means I'm going to have to draw up a detailed dosage plan. Hey, don't worry. I'll help you. Um, no need. I'll <laughs> hand <it back. laughs> 
I assume you three have more important things to be getting on with, right? Oleg will be waiting, not to mention your two companions. Where's your medical degree, Celie? Wait, who the hell are we talking about again? So you guys aren't that close after all? I thought you were sworn friends. <laughs> You're adorable, Branya. She was obviously joking. Right. Thank you, Tasha. Um, huh? Tired already? <sighs> Aren't you? We didn't get any rest last night. You're gonna have to step it up, you know? My record is six days no shut-eye. The fuck? Rasili is a monster, what the hell? Uh, hey, they're finally back! It's okay, my toes are safe. Uh, I wasn't worried about you. Oh. If you must know, I was wondering if Branya was okay. You're a horrible girlfriend, March. Your plan sounds a bit like the ravings of a drunken miner, <laughs> but at least you're offering a road forwards. We Underworlders haven't had a road to anywhere for a long time now, and you can see how things have become. I'm willing to give you guys a shot. Don't worry, Mr. Oleg. We'll make sure you don't regret it. Ravings of a drunken miner is a little harsh. Maybe it is, but I think we need to set our sights on something a bit more realistic. You guys want to know the whereabouts of the Stellaron. Wildfire wants to remove the restrictions on the Underworld. In other words, Svarog is the target of both our efforts. If we can't deal with the boss, we can't deal with anything. Damn, we get a fight against Big Daddy. Put that belt away, Papa. I'm too old for that now. Diplomacy before violence. We should try peaceful communication first. But diplomacy's for bitches. Seeing as we're all on the same side, there's no reason to delay. Let's go. I've arranged for a guide to take you to Svarog. Where the hell you going, Mr. No Tongue? Wildfire's relationship with Svarog has been hostile for a long time now. Mm. Accompanying you would only lead to misunderstandings. Oh, okay. We'll be nearby, awaiting orders. If things go south, we'll be there in no time. Just keep your ass at home. What? Hook is the guy? <laughs> Hook? You. This I really wasn't expecting. So... The moles are a part of wildfire. Ah, that's right. It's me, Pitch Dark, Hook the Great. What do you want? Wait, so Hook wasn't even capping when she said that the wildfire was just moles for the adults. Damn, I owe you an apology. <laughs> Kiddo, I think there's been a misunderstanding. I will be your guide, friends. Oh. By order of Chief Oleg. Fuck, never mind, Hook. You almost got some respect. This is Farog's lair? I thought it'd be cold and lifeless. Oh, turns out it's pretty busy. Bro, how does Clara live here barefoot? Can we have a conversation about the ethics of this? My god, it's not trying to kill me. So what if I just... Okay. <laughs> you see, this is why humanity is a problem. What a heavy gate. Uh, okay, watch this. Never change, March. You beautiful woman. <laughs> Is that a secret code or something? It's an imaginary password that children like to use. And I don't think it's going to be of much use. Yo, Sampo, make yourself useful. Hm. I was just about to get into those before Miss March's colorful attempt. Luckily for us, I've already figured out the mechanism for this gate. They don't just let any Joe Schmo in and out of Boss Farag's territory. I mean, if you want to see the big cheese himself, you need certification. I ain't got no damn papers. What the fuck? Why do robots even follow an immigration process? Uh, certification? Correct. Only prospectors with the right certification can get in or out. These prospectors collect mechanical remnants from all over the underground and then bring them to Svarog for him to repair. Honestly, it's a very profitable little venture. If only I'd beaten them to it. <laughs> They'd be calling me Sampo Bosky by now. Stop. This has to be one of them, right? It looks so lame. The evolution of streetlights. Certification failure. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. Launching, processing. Huh? Are we starting now? Are we going? Launching stage one processing. Please listen to the following question. 
Who is the reigning champion of the Internal Combustion Engine Wrap Tournament? What? Infernal Construction what now? How would we know anything about that? Sampo, do you know the answer? Sampo Gasky always knows the... Wait, uh, what did it say again? Ninja. <sighs> Aren't you supposed to be dependable? Well, I don't know everything. <sighs> Sometimes you gotta ask around if you want to know the answer. Don't panic. Let's listen in to what the vagrants are talking about. We might just hit the jackpot. Please answer the following question. Who is the reigning champion of the Internal Combustion Engine Wrap Tournament? Okay, this actually sounds like a rap name. 88 Degrees Bedrock. Correct answer. Yo! I don't miss! I don't miss ninjas! Hey! <laughs> uh, whoa! Was that a lucky guess? <gasps> Did you go to a music festival without us? March, don't play with me. I'm that ninja. Certification results. Success. Requisite certifications remaining. Two. Please extend your right hand. My right hand? Here you go. Why is this part of the... Uh, hey, hey, ow, ow, ow. Bruh. <laughs> so this is the certification mark? Protocol. Initiating. Scanning. Ugh. I'm so sick of repeating this. You don't even have a belly. Huh? What did this bucket of bolts just say? <laughs> Seems like this one's got a temper. Ugh, let's get this over with. Did you get your first certification? If not, then you're wasting your time. You mean this? Here, look. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Here comes your question. Listen up. Riddle me this. A microcrystalline unit should be connected to which component? Microcrystalline, so that's a small crystal. Well, I mean, crystals use heat to be sunk down, right? So that should work. Wrong. Congratulations. Fuck. Simple question. Terrible answer. It's back to school for you. Uh, can I smash this can opener already? Go on ahead, March. Ha! You wanna go? You caught me in a bad mood. Let's do this. If we turn you into scrap metal, we still get our certification, right? Suits me. Wait, are we actually gonna... Oh my god! Welcome, customers. Jesus, we're taking the Neanderthal approach. Wait, have mercy. I'm sorry. One certification coming right up. Really? <laughs> now we're talking. Okay. Please extend your right hand. <laughs> I guess they don't want to die either. March, you're doing it. Huh? Me again? It hurts, you know. Yes, I insist. Huh? Ow. <laughs> there you are. It's okay. Only one more to go. Now, please leave me in peace. Have a nice day, bitch bot. Protocol. Inish, nish, 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 nish. Oh, no. Initialization failure. Attempting system restoration. Not encouraging. He's broken! System restoration failure. Core module damaged. External threat detected. Oh, what, what, what? Threat elimination activated. Initializing combat module. Are you serious? <laughs> Finally, no more racking our brains. This rust bucket's about to meet its maker. So you just attack anything you don't understand? I mean, my species does the same thing. Friends. <laughs> Learn how to behave now. Let me try and reset its system. Certification system online. Please extend your right hand. <sighs> Why is it always me? You're doing a good job, March. Uh, 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 how come it hurt even more than the other two? Oh, at least that's the final step. We love you. It's okay. It looks like this gate has a more complicated structure than the last one. Sampo, what is this? Huh? Ah. Sampo? Oh, where is he? Oh, where did he run off to? He was just here a second ago. <sighs> this isn't the first time. I like how Stella just accepts it. The fuck you want, Streetlight? It's that same type of robot again. Oh, please don't tell me there's another round of processing. Visitors for Zvarog detected. Protocol initiating. 
verifying. Who's the good boy? Let me in to clap your daddy. Barge! Oh, good plan. <laughs> Treat the robots like guard dogs. Barge! <laughs> Certification failure. Oh. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. Request rejected. Visitors must acquire access permissions from Ms. Clara. Clara? Clara? Oh, the girl we saw in the Great Mine? We need to get permissions from her? What's she got to do with this? Family. Obtaining audio data. Please wait. The energy core is bearing component is broken. If we don't repair it soon, the settlement will be pitch black. Timmy, I'm going back to Rivet Town. Maybe I can recover some usable components. You need to guard the gate while I'm gone. Timmy? Recording recovery complete. Resuming execution of Clara's commands. She went back? But we were just there. Sounds like we better head over again. Wait, you guys went sightseeing in another town? Oh, we forgot to tell you about that, didn't we? Isn't this the robot that was following Clara around? These can openers all look the same. How can you tell them apart? That's silly. Racism. Stop that. Just as we feared, there's something big over there. And, and there's Clara. We have to save her. Let's go. No need to fear. We have the numerical advantage. Clara, what happened here? Meant <laughs> Are you okay, Clara? Are you hurt? What are you doing out here? You're gonna get metal in your toes? <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I'm fine. Just a few scratches. Oh! You shouldn't be running around by yourself. It's too dangerous. What are you looking for here? There is a fault with one of the energy supply units at the base. If I don't repair it soon, everyone at the settlement will be affected. Respectable. I knew there was a workshop in this town, so I wanted to try my luck here. I found all the components I need, but then I ran into a monster. You guys saved me. I'll tell Mr. Svarag about it. Oh, yes, please. I want to be on good terms with Big Daddy. Uh-huh. What do you need to see him for? I can pass him a message. No. This time, we need to set things straight with him face to face. Can you take us to meet him? But, Mr. Sparg doesn't like talking to others, especially Wildfire. Oof. <laughs> Don't I know it. But he's evaded communication with us for too long. This time, we have to see him. Um, I know you're working hard for the people down here, but Mr. Sparg doesn't trust human emotions. He only trusts his calculation results. So, I can't take you to see him. If Mr. Svarag and you had a fight, someone would get hurt for sure. Maybe even bystanders. Listen, kid, you- Celia, you are not good with children. Uh, Clara, you said it yourself before, right? Svarag's duty is to protect the underworld and preserve the civilization here. We have the same wish. Why would he refuse to cooperate with us? I know Mr. Svarov. He isn't affected by other people's wishes. He only follows logical judgments. Terrible things are happening on this world. Mr. Svarov thinks that the overworld will end soon. Oh no! Daddy knows about the nuclear launch codes! I'm always trying to convince Mr. Svarov. Please give me more time. Um, if you don't mind... I still have important things to do. I'll go back now. Clara! Mm. That's no ordinary kid. So young and yet so... stubborn? No. Intelligent? All the above, more like oh, it. She's incisive and determined. In sharp contrast to you, March. Danny! Did you really have to add that last part? You was that friendly fire necessary right there? Damn, bro. All right, time to put my D in chemistry to good work. Aha! Money. Oh no, the chainsaw man, he's dead. Well, I got a D in chemistry, I can't help you. I know that you're good people, 
You helped a lot of the injured in the mine, and you risk going into the town for supplies. If there's any other way I can help you, I'll do my best. But this... Uh, how are we gonna convince her? Make something up? Oh, no, even I'm not that evil. Just point out the variable. right take a look at us do we look like underworlders well uh you do look very different from other people mm -hmm. right that's because we're not from here we've never been a factor in sparog's calculations and if those calculations are based solely on the strength of the underworlders then the results don't apply to the present situation when did Svarog start doing his calculations, Clara? It was... a long time ago. The same time the Underworld was sealed off, I think. Circumstances have changed since then. There's a Silvermane guard down here now. Is that part of Svarog's calculation? Not to mention we're... We aliens! There's just no way that Svarog's calculations would have included variables like us, you know? Different planet? Don't treat me like a child. Those are just made up stories that grown ups like to tell. But I don't. I'm real! And some of these ninjas even got flying machines. Hey, she and March aren't lying, Clara. I believe them. Branya, do you really? I know how you feel, Clara. You want new hope for the underground. But you don't want anyone to get hurt in the process, right? I also have doubts, but my gut tells me that March, Dan, Hung, and she, they are the new hope this world has been waiting for. Let them meet Svarag, and let's see if his calculation result is any different for you, for him. There's no harm in trying, right? Come on, believe in your ninja. I... Okay, I'll take you to see Mr. Svarog. Yes! Really? Awesome! Mm, I understand now. Trying to change Mr. Svarog's mind on my own would take forever. Even if I kept trying until I was all grown up, I don't think I could do it. And all the while, people would be getting sick, losing their homes, and fighting. Just like in the mine. I don't want that to happen. If you guys really believe that you can convince Mr. Sparog, then I need to be brave too. Yeah, I mean, what's the worst thing that could happen? I mean, I would die, but that's all relative. You know what? I'm just gonna pop some food just in case, you know? Just wanna make sure I protect my butt jittery, you know what I mean? Uh, if you can, please try not to upset Mr. Sparog. Yeah, I just popped the tack food for diplomatic purposes. I'm back, Mr. Sparog. I see that the energy supply system is back online. Thank you, Clara. But why have you brought them? Mr. Svarog, they want to talk to you about going to the surface. Analyzing. Analysis result. Target does not belong to wildfire. Background unknown. Classification unknown. You have arrived on Clara's recommendation. I will give you an opportunity to speak. Oh, uh, hey, sounds like he's willing to communicate. Quick, time to smooth talk him. Smooth talk him? He's a robot. To be or not to be, that is the question. My god, am I gonna make Stella this dumb? Yes. Said question lacks the necessary context to be answered. <laughs> Proceed with your central point. Do not waste this world's valuable time. Okay, okay, I'm uh, sorry. He cut you off completely. This guy. Stay focused. Remember, we have to make him see that we're a variable in the calculation. Do you know about the cancer? Stellaron. Searching database. Access denied. Discussing Stellaron with unauthorized targets. Prohibited. Oh. You are broaching a secret that lies at the heart of this world. A secret that should remain unknown to humanity. 
think I got it right. Reassessing targets. Threat index raised. Ah! I demand that you reveal your true intention. Hey, hold up, man. Hold on a minute, man. Hey, it wasn't me. Uh, it was Danny. It was his idea. Mm, as expected. He knows of the Stellaron, but it's a restricted topic. We've come this far. Out with it already. Just be straight with him. Everything depends on it. Daddy, I need this information. We gotta give Clara new ground to walk on. Historical records state that humanity has already made multiple efforts to engage with the Stellaron. Without exception, these efforts have been motivated by human greed, attempts to secure the article for a selfish end. As instructed by the architects, any attempt to engage with the Stellaron will result in grave consequences. Reassessing. Target threat index critical. Wait, what? Huh? Uh, what should we do? This is going from bad to worse. Well, can't say we didn't see this coming. Fix your scatter, old man. Target hostility significantly exceeds base index. Calculation result remains unchanged. Peacekeeping protocol temporarily disengaged. Requesting extermination protocol launch. Wait, 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 huh? Uh, extermination? In the literal sense? Peace talks are over. March, prepare for combat. Mr. Sparog, please don't. Oh. Leave, Clara. Clara, it's dangerous here. Find somewhere to hide. <sighs> Looks like we have to take action after all. Prototype number three, monitoring automaton Sparog. Extermination protocol launch. Successful. Can we unsuccess that? Violation permitted. Oh, okay. <laughs> Burning beef. Dude, why are you trying to knock out Pella straight from the start? What the fuck? <laughs> All right, Bailu, you're going to be double time on healing this fight. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay. That didn't hurt as bad as I thought. Wait, why is the screen black? Huh? Done already? <laughs> How can you put up your best fight without a doctor on the battlefield? Wait, Tasha? All of you, stay focused. I'm right behind you. What you doing here with your fine ass mole? Base breached. Armed wildfire personnel detected. Assessing. All subjects are high risk individuals. Commencing complete annihilation. You're gonna kill everybody? Hey, what was the point of even stopping the fight? Are they actually gonna help? Doesn't look like it. Oh. He got hands. Ooh. It's okay, because I got you. Wait, 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 no, 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 Ting, Ting, no! And all of a sudden, this just got personal. Yes. Nope. Yeah, give me my canine back. All right, I think I win now. Well, kind of, almost. Now we win. Yeah, take a knee. <laughs> no! No, don't kill him! Please, what are you please, doing? Please don't hurt Mr. Sparrow. Yeah, what the fuck? Oh. Clara. You. Mr. Sparrow can't fight anymore. Please. Please don't hurt him. Oh my god. I'm, I'm so. Claire. Bruh. Mr. Swarov, don't push yourself any further. Can you tell them what you know? Mm. Mr. Swarov, you said you were willing to make all my wishes come true, right? My biggest wish right now is for everyone to work together. Like, like family. Recently, I learned something new. Calculation results can't always bring people happiness, even if the world outside the cage isn't beautiful. People still want to know what it's like. Mm. Assessment system reset. Successful. Processing variables. Variable one, Clara's request. Variable two, outsider's intentions. Updated assessment result. Transference of decision-making authority to outsiders. 
Outsiders are granted access to Stellaron intelligence. So... So we did it? I'm about to cry, man. This is the fruit of many years of research, Madam Guardian. The evidence is irrefutable. This so-called Stellaron is the source of all the destruction. The people will struggle to accept this conclusion, Doctor. If we were to tell them that the almighty Elisa Rand activated this thing and triggered the eternal freeze... It's the truth, madam. The truth won't change with the opinions of the people. The reports before you are the precious result of painstaking effort on the part of Bellabog's greatest scholars. You must trust the weight of its conclusion. I have never doubted you, Doctor. On the contrary, I am resolute in the face of this conclusion. From the moment I took up this mantle, that voice, their voice, has made its home in my mind. I cannot shake them. I shouldn't be telling you this. Let's return to your research, Doctor. I'm afraid I cannot make these reports known to the public. Unless... Unless? Unless what? Please, proceed, madam. Unless you have found a way to completely destroy the Stellaron. Whoa! I understand. In the name of preservation, I will fulfill this mission. Cache number 13175. Transmission complete. Next transmission. Cache number 24830. I don't understand, Doctor. Why do we have to hide such valuable research results away? They're the work of a lifetime. You're, you're still young, child. Uh, there will come a day... A day when you do understand. Wait, is that little Mama Coco? The Supreme Guardian... Sees further than you or I. All the decisions are not for the security of Malabarg. I just think it's a shame. Our research has hit an obstacle. Meanwhile, your results will be buried in the snow. <laughs> don't, don't be upset, child. You, you still have lots of time ahead of you. When. You find a way to destroy, <coughs> destroy the Stellaron. Our efforts will have been worth it. My Cash God. Two, four, eight, three, zero. Transmission complete. Next transmission. Cash number five, seven, six, one, four. This is. Why is there a robot here? During his life, this was Dr. Mearsheimer's personal robot bodyguard. <gasps> I heard it's a prototype from the Great War. Since the doctor and his assistants passed away, it's remained here. It hasn't moved an inch. Sparog. Oh, I see. Let's start. We must unearth the doctor's research conclusions. All of them. Madam Guardian, I've found them. All the documents are here. Hmm. Good. That'll do. Madam Guardian, what should we do with the robot? Uh, it would seem a great waste to destroy it. Find someone to reset its system, and then arrange for it to be sent to the Underworld. I hear that the development group is in need of a robot with defense capabilities. Wow, dude. Yes, madam. I'm sorry, Doctor. But these results must be taken care of by the Architects. One day, somebody will be able to carry out your behest. Cache number 57614. Transmission complete. Concluding data transmission. So everybody knew it was crazy. They just weren't strong enough to actually turn it off. Man, why y'all didn't put a power switch on that thing? Mr. Svarov, are you okay? Let me repair your language module first. Assessing. Language module operating as normal. Thank you, Clara. Did your memory module get damaged? Maybe I can fix that too. 
Retrieving memory module. Architect machine error records intact. War of Defense combat data intact. Geomero development group error records intact. Record of Clara's crafting of miniature magnetic drill rigs intact. Record of Clara's explanation of human sleeping in behavior intact. Ah. So your memory module is okay? I have made a backup of all records pertaining to you, Clara. Do not worry. Bruh, Zavara, yeah, where's your face? Where's your face at, man? I'm so happy he's not dead, man. Even the one about sleeping in? There are multiple backups. I can recover them at any time. Mr. Svarog, can I delete some of them? No. That's daddy of the year. I cannot grant this request. Records pertaining to you constitute important data, Clara. They must remain intact. They are memories of family. I understand. Mr. Svarov, I still want to help you check a few other modules. Turn around a little. Okay, I'm kind of happy I got Clara now. All right, my ninjas, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it for your ass, man. Subscribe to become one of my ninjas. Join to become one of my Ambu, and I will see you in the next video. Ninjas out.